I'm just gonna show a tandem carry with a woven wrap that is base plus one or two. First, you're gonna start with back baby. You'll wanna get them into a wrap carry first. There are a variety of ways you can get them onto the back. This is just one. Every time you're doing a ruck carry, you wanna make sure that you really pin those top rails before you have your hands off baby. This just ensures that they stay nice and safe and secure. To pin it, I'm gonna put it in my teeth. You could also put it under your chin. I'm gonna create a nice deep seat. I'm gonna pull that fabric down under his bottom and get it tucked under. This will help to create that nice deep seat. Then I'm gonna take one hand, put it back under baby's bottom, and I'm gonna grab that bottom rail and get it nice and tight and secure. And I'm going to go through that entire tail, tightening it up strand by strand. Once I've got it about where I'd like it, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it into my knees to keep it secure. And then I'm gonna begin working on the other side. Now after I have both sides tightened, I'm going to begin creating that ruck strap. I'm gonna pull it down over baby's leg and under. Normally it would go under the other leg and I would pull it around, but because we're gonna be tandem carrying, I am just going to meet both in the back here and I'm going to tie a knot. This knot is gonna help keep it secure while you're creating the passes for baby in the front. Knotting this is so incredibly helpful and it was one of the biggest mistakes that I made when I first started tandeming with a woven wrap. After you've completed that knot, you're gonna go ahead and bring it to the front under baby's legs. This just tends to be more comfortable for baby. You can quickly adjust anything that needs adjusted. After you've brought those two tails to the front, after you've brought those passes to the front, you're gonna pin one beneath your knees. You don't really need to do this because you have that knot, but it can just make it easier to grab later. Then I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this tail across my body and I'm gonna go under. If you didn't have a knot and you were doing a knotless Tibetan, you would be going over and then under but because you have that knot and you are creating a pass for your second baby, you can go under and this is going to allow you to tighten more easily. So you go ahead and pull that all the way through. Have it nice and spread out across your body. Once you have all that tail done, you're gonna just again, make sure that it is nice and spread out across your body. And then you'll reach for that other one. Spread it across your body and do the same. These two passes are what's gonna hold your second baby. You'll be putting baby into this just like a short cross carry. After you have it all threaded, I like to introduce a little slack into it. You just wanna make sure that you have enough space that you can get your baby in. You also wanna make sure that when you're doing this, you are getting those crossed up nice and high. That way when baby goes in, they will be at a nice position. Then you'll grab your second baby. My little guy always likes to play with the baby first. When you go to put baby in, grab the pass that is underneath and you're gonna put it under baby's leg, crossed, and then you're gonna grab the other one and again, under one leg and across the other. Then you're gonna take that first pass that you worked with and you're gonna spread it all the way over baby from knee to knee and then up to the nape of their neck. Then you'll continue to do that on the other side from knee to knee and up to the neck. Then you can go ahead and tighten it all up. You'll wanna do this on both sides. And after you've gotten it all nice and tight, you can go ahead and either knot it across baby's back or what many find is more comfortable for baby is to knot it over on the side like this. When you do that, you'll also create a little bit more of a head support for baby. That can be especially nice if you've got a really little one. This is a great option for twins or if you have a toddler that you want on your back and a younger baby on your front. Always remember to give your body a little grace if you've got a newborn. You don't want to jump into this carry a week after they're born. Please subscribe if you want to see more baby wearing content and I'll see you in the next one.